Zaya the Rebel As a child of the Latlan tribe, Zaya loved listening to her father sing folk hymns about ancient Vistayan heroes. The haunting melodies transported her to a long-forgotten time when magic danced freely through the island of Kalin, imbuing the Latlan with immense power. Yet, with each new generation, humans encroached farther into all the Vistaya's ancestral tribelands, disrupting their raw essence. The tribes began to fade, losing vitality as they were gradually cut off from the spirits of the first lands and were forced to negotiate with their mortal rivals. Zaya watched in frustration as, time and again, her tribe's Julua ambassadors made treaties with mortals that were swiftly broken. Most disturbingly, humans had discovered the secrets of towering constructs known as Quinlons, and were using them to inhibit Ionia's natural magic in order to protect their expanding settlements. Even though Zaya and others like her urged their people to fight back, the Latlan instead withdrew into themselves, shunning the mortal world as they clung to what little they had left. Yet, this would not protect them, and they were eventually driven from their homes. The Latlan became rootless nomads. Zaya became a freedom fighter. And she was not alone. The Cyan rebellions were growing across Ionia, seeking retribution against mortals. The time for negotiation was over. Zaya was determined to use her lethal quills in battle to release the land's wild magic. Flighting in and out of the most fortified strongholds and leaving a trail of bodies in her wake, she earned the sobriquet, the Violet Raven. Her dedication to the cause was unmatched as she focused only on the next mission and the next step toward freedom for her kind. Though she cherished her rebel allies, she usually acted alone, believing she could do the job better than any other. But then she met another Vasaya who would change her life forever. After she entered the remote mountain town of Lanco in search of a stolen artifact, she was struck by the sight of a braying crowd of humans. On stage, before them stood a preening, flamboyant performer who sang old Vestayan songs for his captivated audience. As he finished his show with a dazzling array of cheap tricks, the crowd erupted and chanted his name, Rakan! 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 He took a theatrical bow. Zaya dismissed him as a buffoon. A fellow Lotzlin he might be, but this Rakan seemed like nothing more than a foolish mutakal. Zaya willed herself to ignore him and completed her mission, which she couldn't deny had become far easier thanks to Rakan distracting the locals. Before Zaya could flee into the wilderness, Rakan accosted her. After making a series of failed attempts to charm her with flattery, the brash Vistaya asked for news of the Lotzlan tribe. When she told him they had lost their lands, his plumage darkened, and she was surprised at the depth of his rage. Perhaps there was more to Rakan than she thought. When she told him of her true cause, he begged to join her, seeing potential in his ability to create diversions, if nothing else. Zaya agreed. When they began their travels, she saw Rakan as a useful but annoying asset. The showboating battle dancer would leap and peer away through enemies with ease, distracting them before Zaya struck them down. Indeed, this fighting style was almost compensated for his irritating inability to remember Zaya's meticulous plans. Rakan helped Zaya in other ways as well. 
While she was blunt and abrasive, he was insightful and charismatic, able to use his charm and persuasion where she would have resorted to violence. She was impressed by his uncanny ability to assess people's emotions and trustworthiness. She sometimes questioned Rakan's compassion for mortals, but never doubted his devotion to the rebel cause. Eventually, Zaya realized her feelings for Rakan were changing. There was a lightness to him and his free-spirited ways that she found aggravatingly alluring. Over time, she grew to welcome his company, and, though she was initially loath to admit it, the world didn't feel so broken and lonely. They became inseparable. In all the years since, the two of them have become formidable champions of the Vastaya, and word of their deeds is spreading. In the wake of the Noxian invasion, Hyonians are undeniably more aggressive and dangerous, especially the people of Navori and the hated Order of the Shadow. Even so, this has enabled Zaya and Rakan to rally countless more Vastaya to their side, and their dream of rebellion is coming to fruition. Together, they will fight to reclaim the First Lands so that the tribes may thrive once again.